Your first reaction upon seeing a question like this says a lot about how you think about the SAT. And honestly, I think it says a lot about whether or not you're able to get a 750 or better or even a 700 or better because there's definitely some wrong reactions to this. You might still get it right, but the right reaction is I have a bunch of equations in the choices. I have some points because that's what a graph is. So I'm going to use the plug points into equations strategy. So this story doesn't matter, right? The graph shows the relationship between the number of shares of stock from company A, X, and the number of shares of stock from company B, Y that Simone can purchase. Which equation could represent this relationship? It's just a line on a graph. And what's our favorite point? Our y-intercept, right? Because it's nice and easy and it usually works out really well, right? So this is the point 0, 040. So we're going to plug that in and we can see that two of our answer choices work out extremely well because they're written in y equals mx plus b format and we know that the b here it is y equals mx plus b represents the y-intercept anyway so we can see here the y-intercept is not 40 and same thing here the y-intercept is not 40 so we can cross them both out but even still if we just plug points into equations right what happens when you plug a zero into this 8x it kills it off what happens if you plug in zero at 12x it kills it off and that's why the B part of a line is is the, the y-intercept. Is It's what happens when you put in zero for x. But the other versions are not written in y equals mx plus b, but a lot of you are going to do all sorts of really stupid things here or just waste your time. Don't rewrite this into y equals mx plus b. Don't put it in Desmos. The point works no matter what the equation looks like. Plug it in. So 8 times 0, right? We said it's going to cancel it out. So I'll write it out just for the sake of it, but I'd be doing this in my head. So 12 times 40 is 480. Is that true? Yeah. 8 times 0 goes away. 12 times 4 is 48. And add a 0 to it, that's 480. So that checks out. And maybe this point works in two equations, but plugging in 0 for x is going to kill off the 12x. And we now know 8 times 40 definitely can't be 480 because it's obviously two different numbers I'm multiplying, but 8 times 40 is 32 with a 0. So no, doesn't work. Again, you know, this is not a hard question. Even if you got it right, you probably didn't struggle too badly on this. Desmos will work. Rewriting this into y equals mx plus b to get the y-intercept will work. But why do that to yourself? You need to have these habits that are so ingrained that you don't even think about what the best way to solve is. You just trust that that plug points into equations is. And it surely is here. Just throw a zero in. It knocks out half of all these equations. And then you're really just multiplying numbers by, by 40. It's so easy. You've really got to be able to see it that way. And don't waste your time typing this in Desmos and zooming around for these numbers. You're just wasting time. How quickly and confidently we get this answer is absolutely going to determine how we handle the much harder questions, not only in terms of strategy and ability, but in terms of the time we, sp we have for those hard questions. This is such a great master the middle kind of question.